Hello everyone, this is Jay Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve a legendary equation. So let's get going. Problem. Solve x plus 3 whole square into d square minus 4 times x plus 3 into d plus 6 into y equal to log of x plus 3. So we are given a differential equation of the form ax plus b power n d power n plus p1 ax plus b power n minus 1 into d power n minus 1 plus so on plus p n into y equal to some function of x form right which is a legendus equation so we are given a legendus equation now we will solve this by reducing it to a linear differential equation with constant equations using some substitution and later we'll find the solution to the reduced equation and using the solution of reduced equation we'll find the general solution to the given differential equation okay so let's begin given differential equation x plus 3 whole square into d square minus 4 times x plus 3 into d plus 6 into y equal to log of x plus 3. Consider it as equation number 1 which is a Legendre's equation. From Legendre's equation we know that ax plus b can be replaced by e power z then z will be equal to log of ax plus b right and here theta is a differential operator whose independent variable is z okay and ax plus b into d can be replaced by coefficient of x which is a into theta since you're having power one so you'll have only theta and you have if you have ax plus b whole square into d square we'll just replace it with a square into since you're having square so you'll get two terms of theta theta into theta minus one right if you have q then you can replace it with a cube into since it is cube so you'll get theta into theta minus 1 into theta minus 2 right now coming to our problem let x plus 3 equal to e power z so this is of a plus a x plus b form right the coefficient of x is 1 from this we'll get z equal to log of x plus 3 then theta equal to d by dz right now let's replace x plus 3 into d by equation of x1 into theta which is theta and x plus 3 whole square into d square can be replaced by equation of x is 1 1 square is 1 here you're having square so we'll replace it with theta into theta minus 1 right now the equation 1 reduces to 1 becomes x, x plus 3 whole square into d square can be replaced by theta of theta minus 1 minus 4 into x plus 3 into d can be replaced by theta plus 6 into y equal to log of x plus 3 is z right now this gives us theta into theta theta square minus theta into 1 is theta minus 4 theta plus 6 into y equal to z right or we can write this as theta square minus theta minus 4 theta is minus 5 theta plus 6 into y equal to z consider it as equation 2 which is in operator form say f of theta into y equal to the rhs part which is in z or which is a function of z we can say right where f of theta is theta square minus 5 theta plus 6 and r is z right fine so now we have re reduced the legendus equation to a linear equation with constant equations right now We'll find the solution to this equation using y equal to yc plus yc where yc is complementary function, yp is particular integral. We'll find complementary function using auxiliary equation. We'll find yp using 1 by f of theta into r of the reduced equation. Okay, So the solution to equation 2 
will obtain the solution to equation 2 in terms of z and using the solution of equation 2 will find the solution of equation 1 or the given differential equation in terms of x okay now coming to auxiliary equation the auxiliary equation is f of m equal to 0 where f of m equal to we have f of theta theta square minus 5 theta plus 6 right let's replace theta by m in f of theta so that we'll get f of m equal to m square minus 5 m plus 6 right then the auxiliary equation becomes m square minus 5 m plus 6 equal to 0 now we need to find roots to this equation let's write minus 5 m as minus 2 m minus 3 m we'll just split minus 5 m minus 5 m as minus 2 m and minus 3 m plus 6 equal to 0 right so here take m common from the first two terms and take minus 3 common from the next two terms here a minus 2 is common in both the terms so let's take it common we'll get m minus 2 into m minus 3 equal to 0 right now we equate each factor to 0 when m minus 2 equal to 0 m equal to 2 when m minus 3 equal to 0 m equal to 3 right then the roots are m equal to 2 and 3 which are real and distinct therefore the roots are real and distinct since the roots are real and distinct we know that when two roots are real and distinct say m1 and m2 are real and distinct then yc looks like c1 one constant into e power 1 root into the variable z plus another constant into e power another root into z right now coming to our complementary function y is equal to 1 root into sorry 1 constant into e power 1 root say 2 into z plus another constant into e power another root say 3 into z this gives us c1 e power 2z plus c2 e power 3z right therefore y c equal to c1 e power 2z plus c2 e power 3z so we got y c now right now we need to find y p y p equal to y p is given by 1 by f of theta into r where f of theta is theta square minus 5 theta plus 6 and r is z right this is of 1 by f of theta into z power k type okay fine now take the lowest degree term of the denominator common so here 6 is the lowest degree term so let's take it common from all these terms then okay in order to take 6 common from these terms we'll just multiply and divide 6 to this first two terms okay right when 6 gets cancelled from the first term we'll get theta square minus phi theta right now let's take 6 common we'll get 6 times theta square minus phi theta by 6 plus 1 into z right again we can write this fraction as 1 by 6 into 1 by theta square minus 5 theta plus 6 plus 1 into z or 1 by 6 into 1 by 1 plus theta square minus 5 theta by 6 into z right so this is of 1 by 1 plus x form right we can write this as 1 plus x whole inverse so we'll write this expression that is 1 by 1 plus theta square minus 5 theta by 6 that is the uh, fraction as 1 plus x whole inverse form we'll just get 1 by 6 into 1 plus theta square minus 5 theta by 6 inverse into z now we have yp equal to 1 by 6 into 
1 plus theta square minus 5 theta by 6 inverse into z, right? We know that 1 plus whole inverse, 1 plus x whole inverse, that is the expansion is 1 minus x plus x square minus x cube plus so on, right? So we can expand this using the formula. We'll get 1 minus of theta square minus 5 theta by 6 plus theta square minus 5 theta by 6 whole square minus theta square minus 5 theta by 6 whole cube plus so on, right? This gives us 1 minus theta square minus 5 theta by 6 plus theta square minus 5 theta whole square by 6 square minus so on, right? This equals to 1 minus 1 by 6 into theta square minus 5 theta plus 1 by 36 into theta square whole square is theta power 4 plus 5 theta whole square is 5, 5 is 25 theta square minus 5 to the 10 theta square into theta theta cube minus so on, right? So let's now find the derivatives of z. Theta of z is 1. Theta is nothing but derivative with respect to that is differential operator whose independent variable is z. So here the derivative of z with respect to z is 1 and theta square of z will be theta of theta of z, right? Just theta of, we have theta of z value which is 1. Theta of, that is derivative of a constant is 0. And then theta cube of z will be 0. Theta power 4 of z will be 0 and so on, you'll get zeros, right? From here, that is theta square of z will get the value, derivatives, higher derivatives of z from power 2 is 0. So, we can neglect all the terms from here, that is from here. From here, we can neglect all the terms since the higher derivatives of z is 0. And in the second term, in the second term, we have theta square. You can neglect theta square also since theta square of z is 0. Okay. Now coming to the problem. Since theta power n of z equal to 0 for n equal to 2, 3 and so on. So, neglect higher derivatives theta square, theta cube and so on. Okay. So, we will get yp equal to 1 by 6 into here. You can expand this or you can just write these two terms. Okay. It's up to you. Let me expand. Okay. Since we are neglecting higher order terms, right? So what I'll do is I'll neglect theta square, theta cube and so on. Okay. Completely, I'll neglect from the third term. Okay, I have wrapped that. You can just neglect all the terms from here. And you can neglect this square also. Okay, but I'll neglect from here. And I'll write theta square of z equal to 0 in the next step. yp equal to 1 by 6 into 1 minus 1 by 6 into theta square minus 5 theta into z. 
is equals to 1 by 6 into 1 that is z minus 1 by 6 into theta square of z minus into minus plus 1 by 6 into 5 is 5 by 6 into theta of z. See here, instead of writing the expansion of 1 minus theta square minus 5 theta by 6 whole inverse, that is 1 plus, sorry, 1 plus theta square minus 5 theta by 6 whole inverse, I mean, instead of writing the whole expansion, you can just write the first two terms because we know that from here, the derivatives of z will be 0, right? So, we can just write the first two itself. It's not necessary to write the whole expansion, okay? See, you can just write the first two terms. First root two terms is quite enough, right? Fine, now coming to this. This becomes equal to 1 by 6 into z minus 1 by 6 into theta square of z is 0 plus 5 by 6 into theta of z is 1. That is derivative of z with respect to z is 1. You will get 1 by 6 into z plus 5 by 6. Now take the LCM of these two terms you will get 6z plus 5 by 6. Now you can write this fraction as 1 by 6 into 6z plus 5 which gives us 1 by 6 into 1 by 6 is 1 by 36 into 6z plus 5. Okay, so this is the required yp. Therefore, yp equal to 1 by 36 into 6z plus 5. Okay, so we got yc and yp. Let's now find the general solution to equation 2 using y equal to yc plus yp. See here, we can write either expansion of 1 plus theta square minus 5 theta by 6 whole inverse or you can just write the first two terms of the expansion because we know that already we have seen the derivatives of z and we got to know that the higher derivatives that is from power 2 the derivatives are 0 right so we have neglected the terms of expansion from 3 I mean the from the third term of expansion we have neglected the higher order derivatives okay I wrote here to neglect theta square theta cube and so on fine now coming to the solution therefore The general solution to equation 2 is given by y equal to yc plus yp. Then y equal to yc is c1 e power 2z plus c2 e power 3z and yp is plus 1 by 36 into 6z plus 5. Okay, which is solution to the reduced equation which is in terms of z. Now we need to find the general solution to equation 1 using this solution. Now we have y equal to c1 e power 2z plus c2 e power 3z plus 1 by 36 into 6z plus 5, right? We can write e power 2z as e power z whole square and e power 3z can be written as e power z whole cube plus 1 by 36 into 6z plus 5, right? Since e power z equal to x plus 3 and z equal to log of x plus 3, then this becomes 
since x plus 3 equal to e power z or e power z equal to x plus 3 and z equal to log of x plus 3 then this equation becomes y equal to c1 just replace e power z by x plus 3 you'll get x plus 3 whole square in the first term plus c2 into x plus 3 whole cube plus 1 by 36 into 6 times replace z by log of x plus 3 plus 5 which completes the problem therefore the general solution to equation 1 is y equal to c1 x plus 3 whole square plus c2 x plus 3 whole cube plus 1 by 36 into 6 log of x plus 3 plus 5. So we have seen a problem from Legendas equation in this video. I hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.